the next match, Juninho, Ross, and Dark. So this one's going to be really good because you did mention that Juninho also plays uh, Ryu next mm -hmm. to Luke. Yep. And then Dark just being a very strong G player. Uh, I always like to watch G just because I, I don't know. I'm I'm not I'm not a gambler. I'm not. I don't have <laughs> any addiction. But like I just like to see him rip. Yeah. No. I'm I'm with you. I played that character quite a bit when he came out. I think he's in my opinion, one of the most interesting characters in the game. So I'm really happy to see that Dark has kept him going as strongly as he has. In terms of their results, so Juninho Ross, currently fifth in points in the World Warrior mm. in Brazil. He's gotten ninth, he's gotten 17th in CPTs before. He is a seven time BR Kumite champion. He's got an aggressive game. On Dark side, he's the uh, BR offline champion. Uh, he's the 19-time BR Kumite wow, champion, right? Wow, 19? He's currently the first in points in World Warrior. Wow. He got fifth in the CPT last year. So these guys have a ton of experience against each other and are two of the best. Let's hear what we have from Dark. So Dark says, Juninho Ras, you are my friend and you are also one of the best players in Brazil. But the president sent word, power to the earth. Ah, it's Super Tuesday. <laughs> Here for Dark. That's what he's hoping for. Oh my gosh. It kind of sounds like Zeus just drawing down his like, <laughs> yeah. thunderball, like, you shall not pass. Or is, is that, That's a different reference, though. But I, I, I love the mix. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Junino Ross has already beaten Baby Brazil, and Davi Dark has already taken out Zangief Bolado and Horus Pollen, as we saw on the stream yesterday, mm -hmm. and did so in pretty convincing fashion. Um, now, we have heard that Junino Ross will sometimes pick other characters versus. Dark's G, mm -hmm. we talked about the Luke, we talked about the Ryu, we certainly saw Luke yesterday. So there's a few options there. It could be Kage as well as what we heard. Up to them, of course. Yes, we'll find Kage. out very shortly how this will go, but I am pretty sure it's going to be G on Dark's side. Definitely. Um, and of course, you know, we did see a dominant Luke coming from Junio Ra. Yeah, so yeah, we'll definitely see that he's definitely going to play Luke. Um, Ryu? I don't think so, but like again, you know, seeing Ryu, it's always fun to see because you don't see a lot of those characters coming into uh, play. But I don't know, just again, like a very wide uh, character variety pool, and hoping to see some more action here. Dark said yesterday when we asked him about a fact about himself, he said, "I've been trying to qualify for the Capcom Cup since 2016, mm. <laughs> since 2016," and he hopes that today is going to be the time that he finally will. It is going to be Luke out of his opponent Juninho Ras. That's what we're gonna get. Luke versus G, trying to make it into Round winners' finals one. to play against Ronaldinho. All right, so Dark has the first hit here. V-Shift away because of course you don't want to get command grab. And V-Shift is really good in this game. Oh yeah, no doubt. I do like the Luke choice. His normals are just so effective. There's this big range that G can control with his excellent buttons in mid range. Mm -hmm. But with things like the fireball, with things like his own great buttons, Luke has a lot to say there, but amazing whiff punish wow. with fierce from dark. Oh, and yeah, we have seen dark use oh. that same button, but enough time to do EXTP. Oh! Catches the V-Ship. I wonder if Dark could have like done the V-Ship a little later so he can actually uh, dodge that. Yeah, he may just have not expected the charge. That said, Dark is working on getting the corner again. Shunini Ross, back to the wall. No, moving mm -hmm. forward. Gotta well, look for Dark. Yeah, the I'll activation point. Oh, yep, can yep, he get there, there in time? Yo! Oh! But not for the round? Oh no, it could all fall apart for Juninho Ross! And it is. I kind of like, yeah, it was just a little too far from the grab, but Dark saw that right opportunity. It's just so scary, especially when you have that much health. It's like, oh man, I just really want to end this and see what I can do. And he did it. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like fishing things out. Yeah, again, like I always say that Dark has been using that button so many times just to kind of get some sort of connector. Good light kick into that. Ooh. Yeah, we have one wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of the buttons that I was thinking of when I'm thinking about how Luke can contend in neutral versus G. It just has such great forward moving options. Oh man, all these checks that um, Dark hasn't been doing yet against Juninho. That's okay. Starting at phase one, Juninho back into the corner. Oh, oh. Intended whiff punish by Juninho Ross instead of getting swift punished by Dark, and now Juninho in big trouble. Interesting V-shift there. 
Hoping for offensive V Rev. Dark trying to take anything. Mm hmm. Nice. Again, I like it with kill instead of command grab, and that's going to be enough for Dark to keep game number one. Yeah, and that's like the first command grab, too. Like, I always say that it's the least uh, that you expect it to happen. Yeah. Um, but I kind of like how Dark was just throwing out the reversal and just trying to not have uh, Juninho throw any of his like his V trigger fireballs at all. He doesn't want that to be activated, so he's yeah. just gonna keep them in there and hoping that he wins this and one zero. Yeah. Yeah, he was very good about actively maintaining that corner control, mm -hmm. like really looking for offensive knockdown view reversal to yep. try to make sure he stays there, his opponent stays there, uh, and he was able to walk that Luke into the corner consistently in both rounds. Ooh, a trade from that. Again, same kind of thing. This time, Juninho Ross jumping over. A little bit too far, I think, for the light punish. Oh, oh no. yeah, he was about to DP, but it didn't work out. Dark, really lucky there. Nice. Mm -hmm. Doesn't pop the trigger on it yet. Okay. Maybe intending to zone out versus the G, who is all the way through. No, not quite on run off. That was so far, too. Oh, that's nice. I was going to say, like, he activated V-Trigger, so he wouldn't be able to V-Shift. But still trying to figure things out. Oh, jumps over with the fireball, but that's not going to work out. I wonder if he thought that Juninho was going to, like, dash under again or something and be like, oh, no, this is fine. But nope, on the way down, you're going to get punished. Ooh. I love that backdash by Juninho Ross. It's something he hasn't really been bringing out in footsies so far. Mm -hmm. Gotta give the opponent different looks, and he's doing a better job of it right now. Yeah, I like how Juninho's just like backing away, but it's Dark still trying to stay next to him. Oh, the V-Shot. Again, Dark threatening to get full corner control. He did walk back slightly to make sure the air was shut down. Yeah, this is really good for Dark, because I know that Juninho just wants to like back away, throw fireballs, because, you know, G being the grappler he is, he does have a little bit of ways to get through. Ooh, all right, sweep into V-Trigger activation, back away. Very smart. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, some good chip damage. Oh, that said, it, he is working on giving Dark V-Trigger himself. Oh, no, that could have been a big punish. That V-Trigger is ready to go. Juninho Ross suddenly, as you must, start blocking more. No, he is more active. I don't think Dark expected that. Typically, people are looking to low block versus G, but <gasps> yeah, no way. What a genius! It's not quite enough though. Oh my gosh, the pressure is on. Oh, what a check! Oh no! <gasps> what? Went, what happened? <laughs> what happened from Dark? Jump jab was surely not what he was looking for right there, especially after finding the hit. He had expected to dash up from Luke, and it looked like he checked into jump light punch. I don't know Dude. why. Yeah, like just in that little small scramble. Like I also saw that uh, Juninho didn't want Dark to activate V trigger, but at sure. that at that point, it's like, oh no, he activated it, and it's just a really really bad scramble because it's like, oh, you're thinking about the command grab too, because he did kill with the command grab the last uh, last match. But maybe man. like light intended to be canceled into oh. into the G smash. Yeah, so, like, yeah, yeah. Could be. Sometimes you know if you're in a scramble situation, maybe you enter but up forward rather than just forward mm. or down forward. Ooh, what a good finish on the way down. This is where Junior does not want to be because like yeah, he just wants to keep uh, throwing fireballs. Yeah, he'd love to be a little bit outside of G's range. Mm -hmm. like, that's the exact spot where we saw him with punish with medium. Dark on the turf. Finds oh. it. Oh, a little bit too far. Oh my gosh, what a whiff punish again. Dark looking so dominant. Just one more hit, but Juninho goes for the grab instead. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. That medium kick, one there is, trigger ready to go, is just, it's a scary situation for the opponents to be in. <laughs> it really is. Yep, back in the way. Oh my gosh, yeah, Dark was just staring him down. Doesn't want to throw anything out just yet. Juninho just still throwing out the fireballs too. But also he has to be aware that Dark can jump over those fireballs. Like right there! 
but no, nothing there. Woo! Be a bit worried about wake up DP again. This is a couple of times in this game. Again, they're just gonna know each other well. Oh, backdash away from the jump. But he's really good at keeping his distance still. Yeah, oh, that was smart. Out of the corner entirely now, Juninho Ross. A little bit of bulldogging, though. Classic stuff. If your opponent has a zoning tool, you can just walk and vlog. Okay, hit confirm. So Darth now, ready to go. Yes, here it is. Plus frames for him. Patience. Oh, nice block from the lows. Oh, again with the grab whiffs. You could have had more. Beautiful. Ooh, yeah, cross cut. That was really, really nice. I was going to say, like, hmm. no, no, he didn't have any V trigger activate or V trigger left, so he would be able to do, like, the fall in the air. Mm. Yeah, Dark has to think about something because Vinny is, like, his defense is really good. Other, again, like, he's just walking back, throwing fireballs, and he knows how to space things out. He's like, are you going to jump at me? I'm going to DP. Yeah. However, Dark as he has before, just walks Juninho to the corner, dashes in, taking a turn. Not overcommitting. Hanging out on the bridge. Juninho Ross, just like that, out of the corner. Yeah, his patience has been great, Juninho Ross. You can see all the gray life he's taken as Dark has found a ton of things to be blocked. Oh no! Oh, that is super unfortunate. All that meter flashing on the bottom right, look at this. Oh yeah, he's definitely waiting to activate something, but he doesn't want to activate it just blindly. Oh my gosh, Juninho! With the checks. That is crazy because... I, dude, I, I feel I feel how, how like uh, stressful it is. It's just mm. like trying to go in and you know that Juninho, he is like abusing like the mechanics of yeah, throwing fireballs over and over again. That's what you want to do, especially yeah. against a grappler. Like you want to be annoying as possible. It's like, no, you, you got to work hard for it and you're going to come <laughs> to me, but I'm going to try my best to get you out of there. Again, we heard from Dark where he had a lot of positive things to say about oh, Juninho yeah. Ross. Same thing out of Juninho Ross. He said Dark is one of the strongest players in Brazil, if not the strongest. Mm. So there's a lot of mutual respect here. Look at his movement out of Juninho Ross. Yeah, he is firing on all the cylinders right now. He's got the corner pressure. Oh, no, he backs could... off a little bit. Yeah. As we've often seen, you know, he, he was, again, trying to be outside of that G range or suddenly bursting in. Oh my gosh, what a low confirm. Yep, it goes for the grab. Just something that's like super basic. I know a lot of people just don't kind of like like this play style, but it works. It's very strong. Yeah, whatever to those people. Yeah. What are you going to do? Oh, that's too close, yep. Shirley. Oh, maybe? I thought that maybe he could have done like a target combo. Yeah, that would have been my thought. But mm -hmm. He's the expert with Luke for sure. Mm -hmm. Yo! There we go. Dark with a great opener. Ready to party. Again, maybe worried about wake up DP. A few times Dark has had corner pressure or knockdowns. This time he's back in though. Will he be worried about that DP again? No, he's in. But there, there it was! I he won. actually had the hit mm -hmm. before. I thought he was going to do like jabbing and into command grab just to do some sort of reset. But Juninho, very confident doing an EXCP. Anti-air. Gosh, that anti-air button is so good. But these dash coming in from Juninho, Dark is not checking those whatsoever, but the V-Shift into... Oh, very oh. smart. <laughs> that was so good. Final round. Very smart by Dark, trying to stay alive in this winner's side. Oh, no! Oh, no, could have again, had yeah. We still didn't see the target combo punish from that. And not that that's huge damage, but it'd be nice to have. Right, exactly. Expecting a fireball at dark. But he's been running into these more and more. Right, we've seen Juninho Ross walk back, walk in or dash in, and try it out, and then walk back. This is mm -hmm. we're seeing right now. Oh, no. Oh, I don't think Juninho wanted that. No way. I'll go for the regular grab. Yeah, just keeping him in place, and there's the command grab! And that's going to be a lot of damage. Yeah, getting up to maximum level. It's going to need more. 
but he is maybe a back grab away, maybe a little bit too far. Oh, oh the classic oh, mix. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> In those scramble situations is when you bring out the tricks, and he sure did right there. He pulled one out of his sleeve with the G, canceling the EX Fireball into Command Grab. Oh my gosh. Good that was work. so cool because, like, I know that Juninho, he did have V Trigger, but of course, he wanted to use that instead of just doing, like, V Reverse or V Shift. Sure. He wants to, like, get back into that zoning game to have Dark struggle his way through. But, man, that was. Yeah, I haven't seen that mix in a while. It's been a while, yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. yeah, that into command grab, axe kick into the command grab. Like, you know, you got, you got tricks. Man, they're really good at blocking. I would just like break right here. <laughs> you know what? Jumping. Because <laughs> yeah. you know you do have a lot of time on the clock, like 99 seconds. There's no need to rush. Especially with characters who are capable of dealing damage as these two are. Here's the dash finally from Dark. Oh, yep, there's the punish. Oh, okay, he tried something because he knew that the jab into like whatever would not work, but that one didn't work as well. Hmm. Knew it! He knew the jump was coming. Here's in your ass. Activations there. Oh no, Dark. I wonder if you tried to keep the stun bar on tack, but it doesn't work out because it just depletes away. Janine Hill is still in the green. Okay, there's the trigger ready to go. Start trying to bulldog. Walk and block, walk and block. Oh, oh no! Oh, Just no. surprising. Oh! That was like max range, but it didn't get the full oh, damage. No. Oh, oh, no! no. However, Dark, nevertheless, still has trigger, has a lot of damage on deck, does not cancel. Oh my gosh. That was so unfortunate because like he definitely could have got the punish off that EX move from Luke, but then I think he hesitated a little bit because he thought that maybe it might have been something else. Like that can happen. He'd be like, oh wait, that's not a DP, right? So match point now for Janine Ross. Really has a lot of control in this neutral game. Think back to game number one. I felt like it was the opposite as Dark had control, but maybe he's trying to get it back now. Mm -hmm. OP for him. Full on corner. All right, yeah, he's not scary anymore. He's not scary, but a uh, DP. Been a long time since he jumped as well. Jinyuras scheming. He's got the life lead finally. Here's the confirm. Oh, yeah, on his left confirm. corner. Oh, over extension. Dark, yep. will he activate? Not yet. Junior, I'm surely expecting, okay, his own sweep first. Mm -hmm. All right, yep, there we go. The V trigger activation. And it's going be really good for Dark because Juninho is in the corner, but Juninho can't throw out those uh, fireballs. Oh. Hey. A little bit of that trigger meter left for Dark. Juninho Rosses is gone, and they're back to normal, but Life Lead is there for Dark as he's looking again. Oh! oh. Yeah, no players can't be reversed, so can't be shift, but Dark was able to find a whiff punish, and he's also sitting at match point with Juninho. He did not want to take a risk that there was going to be a DP after that fierce. But he did find the hit. The stake's very high. You can tell both players feel it. Finally, he's been hunting for that forward fierce the entire set. He's finally got it here in final round. Ah, uh, yeah, but there we go with the whiff punish. But Juninho just throwing out the legs. Juninho's trying to be slippery about finding his moment. We've seen jumps from him as well in this situation. Dark playing at a range where he can anti-air easily. Oh, V-Shift again. Okay, oh. there we go. I feel like in that like tiny scramble, it's like, oh wait, I can probably command grab here because you're probably still in the blur. Dark is in a great position to be able to do it if he finds a command grab. <gasps> no, instead, Juninho Ross. What? What a read. That was tight. Gorgeous. Level 3G is a menace. You could get through the fireball. Yes. There's the cancel. It's enough. That's dark for you. Dark fighting through. As for a while, that was two games to one. Juninho Ross. He had match point. Did Juninho Ross as well? The dark's the one who ends up coming out on top. What a match between those right there. You know, yesterday we saw all two zeros with the exception of one match. Remember that? It was all two zeros. Yeah, it was all two zeros, but I feel like this top eight is going to be a little longer because, again, these players, they are probably going to go 3 2 or like 3 1 or just. Yeah, I, I think we're going to see a lot of that as well. Yeah, and this, mm -hmm. this run, 
the first one that we've seen of the two that was down to the final game, final round. I think this is not going to be the only set that we see today that will yeah. be like that. <laughs> Shout out to these players. You can see top, top level stuff, but Dark ends up making it through. Yeah, so that was uh, winner's side. Um, we still have loser side, so I know that uh, Jalashe and Junio are joining the others in the loser side, and then Ronaldinho and Dark are in winner's finals.